Okay, so this video is about how to use the animation motion trail. Uh, I'm going to use it, I'm going to uh, start with the uh, lamp hop here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a mistake in here um, and just see uh, how we can use the animation motion trail to fix it. So let's say that's our lamp hop. Um, and as we watch that, we can see that there's something weird about this. Yeah, you, if you watch the head, it seems to be sort of taking a, a weird kind of up and down skippy motion. So we know there's a mistake in there. Now, if we if we if we scrub through it, we can start to see that mistake. We can see that the head of the lamp is going up, then suddenly it's going down, then suddenly it's going up again. Uh, now, this is a very common thing in animation. That you're looking at something and thinking, oh man, there's a problem there, but I don't really know what it is. Uh, and obviously with time and experience, you get better and better at figuring out what these mistakes are. And I can see straight away how to fix that. But let's introduce you to a tool, the animation motion tool, which will help you find these mistakes. It's a very, very useful little tool. Um, so what we do is we let's go in and um, she under here, we need to turn on the animation control. So I need to turn on NURBS curves because these controls are created using NURBS. Um, so uh, if I don't have uh, NURBS curves turned on, the controls won't show up. So I'm now going to select the head control there, uh, hit A in the graph editor so we can see it all, uh, delete these keyframes at zero, which we should not have. I'm going to delete that. Hit A again. Uh, now we can see it all properly. A is for all in the graph editor, one of your most useful buttons. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and uh, add the editable motion trail. So I'm going to find that. Obviously, I'm in the animation menu here, which we should be in. And we're going to go to animate. And then here, create editable, difficult to say that word, create editable motion trail. And I'm going to open up the options box as we almost always do when we use a new tool. Uh, just make that a little bit bigger. And we're going to start, if we click on time slider, that's fine, 101 to 141. Uh, increment 1, that just means it's going to record it every frame, that's fine. And then thickness and key size, that's just showing really how big it is on the screen. Uh, frame numbers, we could also show frame numbers, that'll so show each frame in turn, but I, I don't think we need to do that quite yet. Let's just see how that looks. So let's click on Create Motion Trail and see what it does. And you can see here that Maya has now created a motion trail for us. And that is tracking the motion of the head as it goes through the hop. And we can see now right away what the rogue frame is. Um, and the rogue frame is this. Because if you remember the that in the original lecture in week one about arcs, you want a nice smooth arc on this motion. So it's going to go down and then up and then down and it's going to slow in at the end. So obviously the this is the problem keyframe. And the nice thing about um, making the motion trail editable, and this was a function that came in with Maya 2012, was that we can now move that up uh, and restore the curve to what it ought to be. And now if you press play, we're going to get a much nicer uh, flowing motion. And that's the editable motion trail. It's a really, really useful uh, feature in Maya. Um, you can also, you know, you can use it to adjust your animation. Let's say, uh, for example, that we wanted a bit more of an anticipation on this head here. We could we could go ahead and do that um, so that we could make the head go back a little bit before he, before he springs forward. And you can really get a nice feeling for what the animation is going to do uh, by uh, using that motion trail. It shows you the arc of the action or it shows you the path of action. Uh, it's the same thing. Arcs and paths of action are the same thing and that's what the editable motion trail shows you. If you want to get rid of it, you just go uh, window, outliner, which shows you really everything that's in the um, in the shot. Uh, and here under, um, which I'm not sure this, sometimes rigs are tidier than others. Um, uh, we'd probably want, um, if we were going to tidy this up, we should probably move everything, all of these groups into the um, Pixo, Junior, Pixo Junior rig because it's really, we want everything in there so that everything connected with that rig is in one 
node here in the um, uh, in the outline. And in order to do that, I just middle mouse dragged those um, uh, uh, those groups into the main Pixar Junior rig. But there's the motion trail handle. There's there's the motion trail that we created. Uh, and if I if I if I click on that, it will highlight it in the window. And all I have to do to delete it is just hit delete on my keyboard and the motion trail is gone. So uh, another reason why the outliner is incredibly useful uh, tool. Um, so I'm now going to close that out. Um, and uh, that pretty much shows you um, how the editable motion trail works. And I highly recommend it for keeping an eye on your arcs and paths of action.